watch my career, but it can also really break my trust in Hayes. He still doesn't know I've been writing about him. I changed my outfit four times for this date. I'm really glad you said yes to coming out with me. Me too. Don't forget to tell Hayes about you know what. There's something I actually wanted to tell you. There's something I've been wanting to tell you too. I really like you, Gabriella. Another episode of Hollywood Days with Hayes. If you haven't seen the other episodes, they're in a playlist, so go check it out. If you have not checked out the awesome link for the scoreiest Christmas t-shirt, you need to go do that right now. Do you like my song? Um, because they are only available until Monday. And then, guys, we don't have any more left, so you'll have to get it before Monday, because Monday is the last day where I can get it on Monday. But Monday, regardless, is the last day. So make sure you get yours so that we could have yours, and then I can have mine, and then you can show us pictures, and we can be twinning, and it'll be amazing. All right, let's get started. So where we left off, Miss Gabriella. <gasps> wait. Can't wait for everyone to roll through. It's gonna be dope. Hopefully we'll see you there. Okay, so my set wasn't on, but I think it was like an invitation from Hayes to like his party or something. Ugh, sound wasn't on, darn it. <laughs> Bad sound. Okay, I still can't believe Hayes Greer invited you to a party at his house. You're not going, you already have plans. Invited us, he told me I could bring friends. <gasps> you better bring Jay. But I don't know what to do, Dr. Dot. Thank you! I told Jay that I'd go to that writing seminar with him. Gabriella, Jay is really cute. Like, I wondered what it would be like to kiss him since I was six. But it's Saturday night, and this is a party at Hayes Greer's house. Writing can take a backseat for tonight. My date with Jay. Uh, no, we told Jay first. Obviously, it sucks, but sometimes you just have to deal with the consequences of life, which is when you make a promise to someone first, you have to stick with that. Hayes, I'm sure, will have other parties, but Jay asked me first, and so we're going with Jay's thing. We already had a previous obligation. Sorry, I'm gonna stick with my date with Jay. Whoa, really? I don't want to hurt Jay's feeling. The summary script will help with my script. No, Jay asked me first. Jay asked me first. It's the right thing to do, you know? True, I get it. Well, it's not a party at Hayes' house, but it's still a date. Wanna go figure out what you're gonna wear? Sure. Okay, good, I feel good about this because it's Jay asked me first and that's how it works. I feel like you should wear a dress tonight. Yeah? You'd like, okay, I'm just wear something else. Oh, that's cute, okay. Doesn't look ugly. This is cute, love it. Okay, this is perfect. You look cute. I think it's my BFF duty to say something though, dot dot dot. If you change your mind about Hayes' party, I'm going to go. But otherwise, have fun with Jay. Thanks, Mia. <laughs> oh my gosh, when something bad happens with Jay, or is Hayes gonna get mad at me because I didn't go? Oh, look how cute he looks! Why have I instead him up? That would've been the saddest thing in my whole entire life. You look nice, Hemingway. Not so bad yourself, Kruok. Cute. <gasps> Okay, I'm gonna lay it down there right now. I changed my outfit four times for this date. Ah! You know, most people don't reveal that sort of thing up front. I was excited to see you. I bet I wasn't supposed to reveal that either, huh? Aw, see, like it was a date. Like this would've been the saddest thing ever if I stood him up. Definitely not, but I like hearing it. Going on dates isn't really my strong suit. I can sort of tell. <laughs> Rude. You've been going 20 miles per hour for the last 10 minutes. We just got passed by a school bus. Precious cargo. Oh! <laughs> At this rate, we won't get to the seminar until next week, though. <sighs> you asked for it. I'm gonna push 25. Live on the edge. Oh, they're so cute! I'm really glad you said yes to coming out with me. Me too. Day, what matter most is that you write what you love. Write what speaks to you. Because that always what's gonna be your best work. Hmm. Is it Mia? Whoever you are, you have the most raw talent I've ever seen in this town. Let me represent you. You'll have the career of your dreams. <laughs> I have the biggest news of my life. What is it? 
I got a message from Lydia Jacobs saying she wants a meeting with me about my fanfic. Ah! She's like the biggest agent in Hollywood. She represents all of the best screenwriters. OMG, are you gonna take the meeting? Well, that's the thing, Dr. Dot. This could launch my career, but it could also really break my trust in Hayes. He doesn't know I've been writing about him. One second, Mia. Ah. Who was that? Did you get another message? Lydia sent another. She said I have until midnight on Monday to decide if I'm gonna meet her with her. Oh, no one actually ever says that. You have until midnight to meet with me. It's ridiculous. That's 48 hours away. Why 48 hours? She's a big deal. I bet she doesn't want to waste her time on someone who isn't serious. That's ridiculous. So, you have to be okay with revealing your identity to the whole world by Monday at midnight. Exactly, what am I gonna do? Do you think you'll tell Lydia who you really are? I have to, I don't know yet. Definitely not, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. If he finds out, he might be super weirded out. Yeah! Or worse, da da da, upset. I need to think about it. I hate to point this out, but you don't have much time. <gasps> oh! Gabriella, I'm just gonna toss this out there. But there's still time for us to make Hayes party. You could tell him the truth about the fanfic there. You're right, I have to tell him tonight. No! I'm gonna tell Jay I have to leave early. OMG, we're going to have Hayes career party. What if I pass out when I see him? What if I accidentally try to sniff him? You know I always say he looks like he smell good. Mia! You're officially not allowed to leave my side all night. Fine, I promise to stay calm at Hayes, but I can't promise that I won't do some snooping. It's my goal to find out if he's really dating Coco. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll see you soon. Oh. Everything okay? Jay, I'm really sorry to do this, dot, 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 but I have to leave. Oh no, what happened? I think I might have a big opportunity with my writing, and I don't have much time to act on it. That's huge, Gabriella. Well, we should hang out again soon. Yeah, yay! Okay, good, he's understanding. How am I getting home? I guess an Uber. Okay, so we go to the party either way! So we either go to the party and break Jay's heart, or wait, don't break Jay's heart, and still have it all be good. Whoa! I don't know what I was expecting, but there are a lot of people here. I know. It's gonna make it a lot harder for me to do my hay slash Coco snooping. <gasps> oh, I don't even know if Coco's here, da da da. Eight o'clock. <gasps> it's Coco and Hayes! Knock it off! You were just on a date with Jay! Stop it, Gabriella! Gabriella! I almost thought you weren't coming. But I'm glad you made it. Me too, Hayes, this is my cousin Mia. Oh. My? Gee! She warned me this might happen. <gasps> Wait, Mia, that shirt is so rad. It's like exactly what I've been looking for. Looking for? Where'd you get it? I designed it and made it. Uh, Sarah wears the exact same shirt in Demi Lovato, so don't you even. <gasps> no way! You made it? That's so sick. Yo, Tez, come over here. <gasps> Look at Mia's shirt. Isn't that design so lit? Whoa, dude, that's really tight. I've been wanting to revamp my merch for a while. Mia, would you want to do some designs for us? <gasps> oh, that's so cool! Um, yes, I would love to. Yay! Where'd you get the inspiration to make these kinds of designs? I've always been pretty obsessed with LA skater culture. I think it has the coolest vibes. Yo, this girl's the truth. Oh my goodness. Wanna come outside and hit up a taco truck with me? There's a taco truck here too. You ain't even know. Gabriella, if they have carnitas, I'm going to be a while. <laughs> don't forget to tell Hayes about you know what. Hey, Mia, don't. They seem to be into each other. Seriously though, I don't usually see Tez like this. Me neither with Mia. <sighs> Is Coco jealous? Take about Hayes and Coco. Keep quiet. We're not digging. We already have too much weirdness with the two of us. Keep it quiet. Ugh. Wait, Dr. Dot. Is that your own photo booth over there? Yup. It's one of my favorite things in the house. That's so fun. I wish I had one. Do you really need to own one? Uh, no, that's so fun. That's 
so fun. I bet you use it with your friends all the time. For sure. The squad loves the photo booth. I love photo booths. <laughs> Taz is always trying to drag Zane in there. <gasps> Would you want to go in there with me? Oh, are you kidding me? Keep it professional and say no? What does that have to do with anything? I'm gonna pass, but thanks for the offer. Are you sure? Yeah, go do your thing though. Nah, it's okay. I'm not gonna go without you. Well, maybe instead we could. <gasps> OMG! Hey, have you come see how many people are in your pool right now? It's insane! <gasps> oh, I wanna take a photo with this in the photo booth! This is ridiculous! <gasps> I better not actually tell him about the fanfic though, because I will die if this actually happens. How's it going? I feel like I haven't seen you all night. It's been fun. This party's so packed. I found Xana was playing with him. <laughs> Probably that more likely. I found Xana was playing with him for a little. Lucky guy. He's gotten so much attention tonight. Yeah, there are a ton of people here. I know, it's pretty out of hand. I've kind of been wanting to get away from it all for a little. Would you want to go up to, okay, blah, 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 blah. This is gonna cost me diamonds. Oh, it doesn't! <laughs> Oops, I just skipped all that dialogue. All the dialogue, I thought it was leading up to diamonds. I was like, how many diamonds are they gonna put in here? Um, okay, so let's just pretend he was all, I just need a break from it all, you know? And she's like, yeah, definitely. And he's like, let's go get away to the Hollywood sign, which probably is actually in reality really far from my house. Well, let's go there. <laughs> Whoa. Have you ever been up here? No, never. It's amazing. <gasps> Although, I'm having a hard time finding a single star. Just like we talked about. That's LA for you. I literally can see stars in the drawing. At least we've got the city lights. I know it's not the same, but maybe they can make you feel like anything's possible too. <gasps> Don't tell him! You remembered why I like the stars so much? Of course. Ah! Guys, does he even like me? What is this? They're really beautiful. They're not even close. Not quite stars, but it'll do. Let's see, it's not quite stars. Not quite stars, but it'll do. The view is pretty breathtaking. <gasps> Everything just looks so small down there. I could fill pages with words and still wouldn't capture this feeling. I know what you mean. Oh, the most I've ever written is probably da da da. My Instagram caption. <laughs> Instagram caption can make or break a picture. <laughs> when did you know you wanted to be a writer? Ever since I wrote my first story. Ever since I saw my first movie. Ever since I read all the classics. I guess the first story? Ever since I wrote my first story. As soon as pen hit paper, I was hooked. <gasps> Awkward! Time to talk about the fanfic! Ah! <laughs> Don't do it! Hey, hey, um, but we're talking about my writing. There's something I actually wanted to tell you. There's something I've been wanting to tell you too. Ah! <laughs> no! I really like you, Gabriella. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness! I was not expecting that to happen at all! Oh my gosh! Hey, wait! Oh my goodness! We should, uh, get back. Oh, I will see you guys later.